everybody? So this video is going to be on the new Gerard's Cosmetics Highlighters. I only actually ordered one of them, so I'm just going to speak on the one that I actually ordered. Um, so when it first came to mail, it came like in this just regular old box. I'm actually covering my um, address here. And then it came um, wrapped up in just like this, in this foam here. And then it came um, wrapped inside this black tissue paper that was um, put inside this kind of envelope type of bubble wrap and on the bubble wrap here it has a sticker that says the name of the color it has um, um, a list of the, a few ingredients in here or um, all of the ingredients inside of the powder it says Ger Gerard Cosmetics and it also says made in the USA so here is the it has fingerprints on it which I didn't like but um <laughs> that's besides the point this is what it looks like here, and I'm going to speak on the uh, packaging first. Now, on the website, it says that these are regularly priced $36, and they have them marked down to $29. And I know there's a few um, coupon codes that are going around where you could buy the powders for even cheaper. Um, a lot of the YouTubers have coupons that will bring the price down to like 19 bucks, but they had a coupon code on their uh, Instagram for 45% uh, off. Um, it was Gin Beauty, and I used that to uh, buy mine, which made it like $15.95 or something like that. So I, or I went ahead and ordered it because it was uh, to a price where I was comfortable with buying it. But, um, for the packaging and for the price without any of the coupons that they have listed on the website, $36.29, the packaging is not worth that price tag. It's really cheap. It's a plastic type of um, packaging. Um, and I'm usually not against plastic packaging, but this kind of packaging is really, really cheap. Um, really, really cheaply made. And it's super, super lightweight. And I feel like with this, my powder is going to break easily. Um, the thing, uh, the cover inside that covers the powder, actually, when it's closed, you can hear it like popping around in there. So I don't like that. And with the packaging, um, Gerard's Cosmetics is not the first company that I've seen come across with this packaging. Um, I actually was on Beauty Bay, and there's this company called HD Brows. And as you can see, they have that exact same packaging, but in black. So, I don't know if that really matters, but yeah, that they have the exact same packaging, but they use it in black. So, Gerard Cosmetics isn't the first one, first company to use this um, this packaging. Just thought I would throw that out there. Um, but yeah, for the price of $29, $36, they could do way better with the packaging because... There, that price tag is up there with Becca and um, Makeup Forever and um, Cover Effects. Those companies use plastic too, but it's a higher quality of um, quality of uh, plastic. And this is just really, really cheap. Find it in a drugstore type of plastic. So that doesn't bother me, but it bothers me if they're charging. $29, $36. I really don't think it's worth that if they're going to be charging that price, you know, for this packaging. I just think that that's a ripoff. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Um, so, on the inside, like I showed you before, they have this little flap here that goes over the powder. I guess that's to help protect the powder, but it's so, it's so easy. It doesn't, it's not like it just pops in and stays there it's so easy to open so i don't feel like it's really going to um provide any real protection for the powder inside so um now i'm going to move on and actually talk about the actual product um when i first got this i swatched it and it i'm just going to show you um when i first got it i swatched it and it immediately formed like this heart I, yeah, like a hard pan here, and it, it, the powder kind of like, for a lack of a better term, it kind of felt like, uh, like it crumbled together like a paste, and just got hard in that, and this is the only place that I've ever swatched a powder, so, um, yeah, it got kind of like pasty feeling, and it kind of like crumbled together there, 
or gathered together there, whatever you want to say, and just formed this hard pan. So, yeah, I don't like that. And it's not creamy feeling. I've watched other people's reviews on these, and they say that these are creamy. It's not creamy at all. In my opinion, with my powder, the powder that I received, the highlighter that I received, it's not creamy at all. It doesn't compare to Becca. It doesn't compare to any of those high-end brands within the same price range with their try um, as they're trying to um, charge for. So I think for, again, for $29.36, the powder should feel like a baby's butt, in my opinion. Like, maybe I shouldn't say baby's butt but you know what I'm saying it should feel really really smooth it should feel really really soft and this is not that I mean um I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you it's really crumbly but if you can see that it is a beautiful powder you know don't get me wrong it's a beautiful powder and it looks gorgeous on the on the face but my only problem is, is that they're charging $29 or $36 for this product and it's not worth that price tag. So I pay $15 for mine. I don't think that this product is worth more than 20 bucks, in my opinion. And if you're interested in buying this, I definitely would um, uh, suggest buying this with a coupon code or something because I would not pay full price for this. It is not worth the full price. There are better products out there, especially in the drugstore, that are way better than this, feel way creamier than this for a lower price tag. Like, let me show you. Like this one from Maybelline, their Master Highlight. This, this is like half the price of that one. And it feels amazing. It's really nice and soft and it's super pigmented. So... I think that they should come down on that price of that product, really, or just keep putting out um, coupon codes for it because for $29, mm -mm, it's not worth it. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope that you guys found this he helpful. Helpful. <laughs> Y'all know I can't speak. Um, but I hope that you guys found this helpful. Helpful. I still can't say it. Let me get a little bit warm, so maybe that's why I can't speak. I need a quench my thirst but um I hope that it, that you guys found this helpful and that um this will help you in deciding whether or not you want to actually purchase from them um but I don't think I'll be purchasing any more of their highlighters based on how I feel about this one I will still use it because I did spend my money on it but um yeah I won't be buying any more so this is it. That is all that I have to say about that product. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.